I am feeling myself. I am feeling myself. Feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. Feeling my, I am feeling. Welcome to the Brie and Brie show. Today I'm going to be doing a natural full face. Well, it's not so natural, but it's my everyday makeup. I already got my brows on, so we can go ahead and get into it. Here are my brows. I did them in a previous video. I'll have that video linked below. First, I'm going to be going in with this Milani Conceal Perfect Foundation Stick. So, that is it. So I just kind of draw it around here. And I'm gonna go ahead and wet my beauty blender and blot that out. Excuse the makeup uh, container, it's a little dirty. I just kind of draw like shade in under here. With it. And then I go in with the concealer while before I blend it out. And it is lighter. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it is quite a bit lighter. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. And I blend it out in the order that I have the least makeup. I usually do that. I go like, so I don't have a lot of hair in here. So I'll blend my mouth and then my chin and then my forehead. And then I'll go under my eyes because that's where I have the most foundation and concealer. What do you guys use for foundation? Because I am kind of looking for um, a different one. I kind of always have to mix. I have yet to find just like one foundation that I could wear. And my skin color changes frequently. Okay, I'm gonna wet my beauty blender a little bit more. I like this foundation mostly because it's cheap and I can work with it. So it's not the best foundation, it's a little bit thick. It's a full coverage, I would say. Okay, so next I'm gonna be going in with some setting powder. I always do my setting powder before my contour. Personally, that's just the way I do it. And again, I mix. I have the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Um, it is nice, it's nice, it blends in great, but it is so dark, like for my skin tone. It is so yellow <clears throat> that I have to mix it in with my um, ear spun. This is translucent ear spun. I think that's how you pronounce it. So also, if you guys have any suggestions for a setting powder that will work with my skin tone, that is not too dark. I would love to try it out. And if you guys have things that you want me to try out, before you go buy it yourself and spend your own money on it. I'm down to do that as well. So I do my forehead, above my lip, chin, under my eye, and then I just kind of keep patting it out till it's more smooth. And then I also put a little bit under here. Because I will not be putting contour or bronzer or anything there next i'm going to be going in with this brush it's by zoria i think i got it on amazon or something and i go in with my hula contour by benefit um i i love this it is a little dark but so so i just kind of you know drop a little drop drop it real low drop it real low Circles. And I go 
on the other side, I do the same thing. I come back and blend that, guys, so don't worry. I love a good contour, y'all. Like, who am I without it? It's not me. And then I get a little bit more, shake it off a little bit. I don't know if I show you the container to And then I tap around my hairline. I be snatched. Snatched. <laughs> my damn head scarf coming off. Y'all do not want to see what's under there. You do not. So keep blending. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go down slightly. I'm gonna use another blending brush to blend that out some more. So, I'm gonna come back with this really old Bare Essentials um, fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna go over my whole face to blend everything out some more. You know what I forgot to do, y'all? This double chin. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow, which I'm gonna do a really simple eyeshadow look today. Um, it's This is what I would wear to work or, you know, wherever, really, if I'm leaving the house. And I'm gonna use that same palette, uh, the Nomad by Juvia's, and I'm gonna go in with this orangey color on the side, and I'm gonna go all around my crease with that. And first, I usually just tap it in there. And then I go back and blend it. So I'm just gonna sharpen it. And this is where sometimes I wish I did do my eyeshadow first or my eyes first because I you I will probably mess up under my eye by doing this but it's okay we'll make it work i'm gonna use my blender and then just kind of go into my waterline this eye versus this side okay anyway i'm gonna do the same thing as this eye it opens up your eye so much you think I have like 20 hours of sleep. First, I'm gonna use this brush to kind of line outside that white waterline using the same eyeshadow or a darker one. This darker one, it is called Yodit. And this is the the Warriors by Juvia. The, the Warriors 2 by Juvia. So I'm gonna go ahead and go under my eyes with that. And I'm just going in with this angled brush and I'll be tapping it around the white. Or drawing it around the white. Then I go in and I'll just blend under there. I'll blend it up. So you could stop here if you wanted with the eyeshadow and stuff, but I'm a little bit extra, even every day at work. So I'm gonna go in with the Zulu by Juvia's. And as you can see, I go through this eyeshadow. Like, bruh, where is it at? It's at 10, it's gone, I need more. I don't really use all the other colors too much. I use this one, you can't really tell. That's another option I would put under my eyes or in my crease. 
but I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and go directly on my lip. And the same on the other side. You don't have to worry about fallout because we blend in all this in. I know it looks crazy though. But brush some of that fallout before it sits. About to just blend all that shimmer out. We're gonna go back to the face now and I'm going to drench my face in this Mario Badescu rose water. So Okay, and when that is mostly dry, I'm gonna take this is the brush I usually use for my highlight. It is exam design, some little you know pointed like foundation brush i'm pretty sure i got it off amazon too if you haven't noticed yet i'm obsessed with amazon i shop there consistently so here is um the tribe highlighter volume 2 by julia's and i love this highlighter it is perfect perfect for my skin tone because i've used so many other highlighters that make me look like washed out it's too yellow it's too white this is like golden it's beautiful especially for women or men my skin tone so i go around on my fucking lips bridge of my nose And then I like to go like right And then I use the other side to kind of blend it out. And the next thing I'm going to use is this bold lash by Mac. Okay. Um, this is really cute. It has like velvet on it. Really cute packaging. And a really big spoolie. And then it also has a tiny spoon for lower lashes. Which I like. I do really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my lashes. I remember when I was in high school and middle school and I would put mascara on on the bus because I was either running late or I forgot mine and I had to use my friends to gross. I know, don't do that y'all. But I can barely put mascara on now. How the hell did I do it on a moving bus? How? So I have these from my lash company that I already wore this line. My lips. The gloss. Why is there an alarm going on? Okay, so I'm back y'all and I did my lashes off camera. Um, I'm still not the best at putting on my lashes. I just am in love with them. So I'm going to continue to struggle until I get better. And then I'll be able to go on camera and show you all how to apply them. So I'm not done completely yet with my look. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off some of this stuff from my lip. And we're going to go ahead and put our lips on. A little bit. Okay. So, I think I want to do a red lip. This would be my finished look for like work. I would just put on chapstick, but since we're here, we might as well go ahead and. 
go big or go home. So I'm gonna go ahead and line them This is Cabaret Lip Liner Pencil. The brand is Navi. I also got it on Amazon. With this Staying Alive Gloss by NARS. I'm gonna just go over this, smooth everything out. Cause it does look a little crazy. I'm gonna go and clean up my lip a little right here. I'm feeling myself. 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 Feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. Feeling my, I'm feeling myself. All right, y'all. This is the finished look. Natural beat bold lip. Bang. All right. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Please make sure you turn on the little bell in the corner so you can get notifications whenever we have a new video. We do all types of things on this channel, from challenges to beauty, hair, all that. So make sure you go ahead and stay tuned for more videos. For this giveaway, we have this Modern Renaissance palette. I've never used it. I have one I have one already. My sister gifted me this one. So I'm gonna give it to one of you all. Just make sure you share, like this video, and comment what your favorite makeup is and hashtag challenge. And we will go ahead and give this out to one of you. I'm also going to probably throw in a pair of lashes for that giveaway. So we don't have a certain date that is ending, just whenever this video gets to 500 likes. So make sure you like and share and definitely subscribe. See you in my next video.